In this video, we're going to take a look at default arguments in Python. It's possible to give function parameters default values so that you don't have to fill them all in. So let's imagine that you're a vet, and by vet, I mean an animal doctor, because I notice in America, vet often seems to mean a military person. But here I'm talking about someone who does medical stuff with animals. And let's imagine you've got a function and we'll call it new patient. And what this does is it adds a patient to a database of animal patients. And let's suppose we have name, type, and age as parameters for this function. So the way that you use this is let's create a main. I would write new patient and supply the name of a new animal patient. Let's call him Biffy. And the type can be dog, and the age can be five, let's say. We'll have three of those, and I'll fill in new names. Let's have Tiddles the cat, who can be two, and we'll have Rover, a dog, who is eight. So now I need to call main to trigger the whole thing off. And what's this actually going to do? Let's just print out these details for demonstration purposes. So I've got name, type, and age. So I'll try running it and see what it does. And it should be pretty clear what it does. It's just gonna print these different animals. Now suppose you don't always know the age of an animal that comes in. You can give age a default value. We can just put an equals here and set it equal to, for example, minus one. That could mean we didn't record an age for this animal. And now if you don't supply a value for age, let's say for this cat here, then that will be filled in automatically to minus one. If I don't have a default value listed for this parameter, this will give me an error. It's gonna say, we're missing one required positional argument, age, on line seven here, which is of course this line. Because remember, it's matching these arguments up to the parameters via the positions. So if you've got one missing, you've therefore got a missing positional argument. Now, we can only set default values starting at the last parameter and working backwards. So what I mean is, I can't, for example, say type equals by default cat. Why doesn't this work? Let's take a look. You see, it doesn't work. And the problem is, how is it gonna match these up to the arguments? Because we've got here, we've got two arguments which of these three parameters does it actually match? There's no rule in Python for figuring that out. So if I want type to have a default, age will have to have a default as well. And then it will actually work because now they can actually be matched up. So now I could call it like this. I, I only have to specify one parameter. Let's say we've got Bobby and we don't even know what kind of animal he is or how old he is. Then you can see it's gonna fill in cat and minus one by default. We can give them all default values if we want. And then we can call the function without any arguments at all. I would recommend actually trying that out and verifying that does work. Do try this out for yourself. It's pretty straightforward and occasionally comes in quite useful. Hello, you've been watching a free sample from my Python and Machine Learning for Complete Beginners course. I'm uploading enough videos from the start of the course to get you started with Python and Machine Learning. The full course is absolutely massive. If you're interested in it, please click the link in the description. The complete course covers not only basic Python, but also some fairly advanced Python, even some desktop programming stuff, and then goes on to machine learning, and artificial intelligence. Until next time, happy coding.